Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the recreating a YouTuber's makeup. So today I have chosen Nikki Tutorials because her makeup always looks insane and I would love to learn a few things from her. So I'm going to type her in and see what which one I want to do. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the ultimate New Year's Eve glam transformation. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to Winter Wonder Week. I'm gonna do it in the order she does as well because it's gonna be very different. All right, so today for priming, I wanna be a true Instagram legend. So I'm gonna be priming using the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Okay, so I don't have any drops like that. Um, I've got Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit, or I've got the Cover Effects drops, but I feel like I'd be way too shiny. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Girl Meets Pearl Benefit primer. Okay, so now for foundation. Well, for foundation today, I'm using a brand new one that I've never tried before. Okay, so I don't have the Laura Mercier. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the Fenty Beauty foundation because that's all I have. I'm just gonna go whack my beauty blender. Beauty blender. <laughs> beauty blender. Okay, so she just went straight in. So I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. <laughs> I'm going in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm gonna use this side. Actually, no, I'm gonna use this side, but I'm gonna go straight in, which I never do. This feels so weird. Oh, I haven't done my eyebrows. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do my eyebrows. I always do them first, because I'll always mess them up. I haven't done my makeup like this since I was about 11. So Nikki always has like a full coverage. Oh my god, I'm going over my eyebrows. Her foundation is always literally like so full coverage. So I'm going to do another coat, I think. Literally feels so weird that I can go over my eyebrows. Done with foundation. Okay, so she's just done normal concealer. So I'm just gonna go in with the Evan Decay Naked Concealer in Fair Neutral. And I'm just going. I've not worn makeup in so long. Okay, so that is all. It's coming. Did I think? Okay, so I don't have the Fit Me powder. I'm not doing very well. But I do have, wait, was it Maybelline? Well, I have a Rimmel Match Perfection one. So I'm just gonna use that one. Ooh. She's not set her face at all. Cry my eye. <laughs> oh no. My lap lines are gonna be horrific. Okay, so she skipped her eyebrows and she did them off camera. So I'm going to search an eyebrow tutorial because I wanna do the full whammy. So this was over two years And the ago. first product I'm going to go in with is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Hope. So the first thing I always like to do is brush oh, all my that. brow hairs down. I'm going to need to use another spoolie because my spoolie fell off. This way I can exactly see the line at the top of my brow. Now what I'm going to do with this is trace that line, create a new line on top of the top of my eyebrow, and this will give the brow a nice structure. So with my brow whisk, I just start defining the top of my brow. Okay. Obviously I'm using dark brown because I am not blonde. And all we want to do now is do the same at the top. We just want to trace that line and, and just neaten it up a little bit. So again, with my brow whiz, I'm just following the brow.
And the closer you get to the front of your brow, the softer you want to use the brow whiz. To fill this all in, I like using something a little bit more hardcore. For this, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Instant Brow. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to fill it in powder. with my dark brown and Anastasia Pomade. I literally use the dip brow ever. I just take the dip brow, the dip brow, and I literally tap it in a couple of times and that's it. I do not scoop products out. I do not brush the brush into the products. I literally tap it on top of the surface of the dip brow a couple of times and that is more than enough. So I'm tapping it as where I apply my foundation with and then just lightly with that foundation brush just tap the front of the brow and that will soften the beginning of that brow. how I'm feeling about this eyebrow. It's a lot lighter than I usually do. So I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera and I will be back. But I've come to the decision that I hate doing my eyebrows when I have foundation on. It just feels so like dirty. Whoa. Okay, so back to the first video. So the powder's off, so I'm just gonna wipe this off. I can't believe she's First, I'm gonna prime my eyelid I've using the Select Cover Up that. Concealer by MAC. I prime my eyes with the concealer that I put under my eye. I think I'm just gonna use that. The first shade I'm going in with is by the Zulu Palette by Juvia's Place, and it's the Fiery Orange. So I don't have that palette, so I'm going in with the 39A palette and I am taking this orange in the middle. So I'm going to use the Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to take that big, oh gosh. I look like I'm trying to do some like theatrical makeup. Once that is applied, okay. I go in with the yellow and apply it just a little bit above as a softer transition. So I'm going to go in with the yellowish shadow I have, which is Chickadee. Okay. Same palette, I'm going in with the purple. Mine does not look like Find a purple. I really wish I had the Morphe 35B, is that what it's called? I don't know, but I would have all these colours if I had that. I am going in with the Morphe 35P palette and taking this shadow right here. This is looking horrific. Okay, on the outer and inner corner of the lid, I'm going into the Juvia's Place oh my Magic gosh, I have Palette. That. And I want to go Do in with that? this shade right no. here. I have and that I'm palette. Right there. Okay, so I actually have this palette. So it's on top of the base. Okay, I've never done this before. Of concealer to get the back but the there's always coverage. a first time for everything. So I'm going in with the eyeshadow primer potion, and I'm just going to put that where she put it. <laughs> So I'm getting a lot of fallout, so I'm just gonna, there we go. How should make it look like that? Right, I'm gonna add some more concealer, because why not? How the hell is she making it look that good? <laughs> what? What is this? What is life? I literally have the same shade. How is this not looking the same? Now I'm cutting the lid using a little bit of that same concealer and I'm doing a spotlight smoky eye so it's just focused on the center. Still working with the Juvia's Magic Palette and taking this shade right here to set the sides of the lid that we just carved out. So going on this outer portion here, blending it what? in. What? And also on the inner portion here and also blending that and now this look is 
finally starting to come together. It looked like a very hot mess all this time, but now we can see something coming to the horizon. <sighs> oh, no, it's not. This is horrific. This is horrific. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some glitter fix gel. I'm going to go in with this glitter. I don't know where it's from. Don't really care anymore. Actually giving up with this look. <gasps> Terrific. So we have different glitters. But who cares? Okay, so I've got the glitter on and that made it look a little bit better. But right now, I'm going to, off camera, try and fix this. So I've done all I can. I don't think it's bad, it's just not good. Like it looks nothing like Nikki's. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. So she's highlighting her brow bone. So I'm going in with the I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love Highlighter. Go along the highlight. Just go along the brow bone. Smoking out that waterline using a black hole. So I'm going to go in with the Max Factor Essential something eye liner. I'm gonna line my waterline. All right, so it's been very long and intense, but you made it and it's finally time for lashes. These are Doll Beauty Lashes in Eva. So I'm going to go in with my 3D Mink Lashes. I've lost a lash. Great, found it. So focusing on the face now, I'm gonna bronze, next to nothing powder in medium dark. So I'm going to go in with the Milani bronzer. Cheekbones where there aren't. <laughs> A nice glowy blush on those apples, I'm working it back. So moving on to blusher. <sighs> I'm so over this video. I'm going in with the MAC blusher in Pinch Me and I'm just gonna put that on apples on my cheeks. Working it back. Oh, she's baking, yay. And for my glow, I'm gonna be taking this Dull Beauty Dull Light Highlighter. Then we're going back in with the Goddess of Love Triple Bake Highlighter. It's balance. So first I'm going in with the Shoe Longwear Lip Cream Liner. I heard it's Whole New Year's How does she look so amazing? Smoky eye. I definitely love doing this video because I was being a little bit more creative and playing with colors. So... This is the final look. <sighs> Hats off to Nikki, because she is amazing. She literally makes anything look insane. <sighs> Mine just looks horrific. So that is everything. I cannot wait to get this off. Literally, as soon as I stop, this, stop recording, I am wiping this off. Because this is the worst makeup I've ever done, I think. So I'm just gonna give you a close up. The way Nikki does things is amazing. Her technique for everything is like stunning on point, but I just do things differently. <laughs> and maybe I'll recreate this look again and just do it the way I do it. And maybe might look a bit similar. So yeah, please like and subscribe if you liked this video. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, I will see you in the next video.